Hello class. In this video, we will create a ground cracking effect and make the predator character jump out of the hole. Let's import the background video and create a composition. Go to animation and apply track camera. Once it's done analyzing the video, we will have these tracking points so we can place visual effects in the video. Click on create camera and it will create a 3D camera that simulates the 3D space in the video. Go to the spot where you would like to add ground crack. Once the circle matches the ground plane, right click and create solid. It will create a solid plane so we can reference to place textures or effects on the ground. Select the 3D camera tracker again and follow the same procedure to create solid planes on the spots where you would like to add cracks. Let's import our cracks footage. The first crack video has two crack effects in it, so we will separate them. Create a composition for the crack video, cut it where the first crack effect ends. Duplicate the layer, and cut to the frame when the crack is fully expanded. Move it and connect it to the last frame of the first layer. Right click, and go it to time, freeze frame. It will freeze the current frame for the entire clip, so we can extend the video and fill the gap. Apply the key light 1.2 effect and get rid of the green color background. Create a composition for this video again, and cut it where the second crack effect start. Key out the green background, and move the clip to the first frame. Duplicate the layer and cut it where the crack is fully expanded. Connect it to the end frame of the first layer. Apply freeze frame. Our background scene has 14 seconds, but the crack effects only has 10 seconds. We can go to the composition setting and extend the time. Remember to also extend the layer to fill the gap in the composition. Drop in the first crack. We will keep its anchor point in the center. Check on the 3D layer. If you don't see the icon, right click on the layer panel and turn on switches. Select both the crack and the track plane. Hit the P key for position. Copy the track plane's position and paste to the crack layer. Hit the R key for rotation and copy the track plane's orientation values to the crack layer. Hide the track plane and the crack will lay on the ground. You may adjust the crack's orientation along the z-axis to make the placement more interesting. Make it appear at the right time, and adjust its scale. Follow the same procedure and place the second crack on the ground. We can reuse these two cracks and place them for the rest tracking planes. We can duplicate the first crack in the composition, move it up, and paste the third track plane's position to it. Adjust its orientation along the z-axis to make it look different than the original one. Duplicate the second crack in the composition, move it up, and paste the fourth track plane's position to it. Adjust its orientation along the z-axis. Duplicate the first crack in the composition, and paste the fifth track plane's position to it. Adjust its orientation along the z-axis. Now, let's add a hole on the ground. Drop the second crack video and create a composition, key out the green background. There are two issues we have to fix before adding the hole to the scene. The video only has 6 seconds, but the scene has 14 seconds. When the video is facing us, the perspective of the hole look correct. However, if we place the video on the ground, it would be too narrow and unrealistic. Go back to the whole composition, duplicate the layer, and cut it the last frame. Extend the composition to 20 seconds. Right click and apply freeze frame. 
and extend the second layer to fill the gap. Unlink the scale proportion and increase the Y value. Go to the composition setting, uncheck the lock aspect ratio and adjust the height of the composition. This way, the hole will look better once the video is placed on the ground. Apply a corner pin effect to the hole. Adjust the four corners position to make the perspective look better. This is what we've created so far. Let's add smoke to the cracks. This time, we will create no object in the crack for tracking reference. Aim the center of the circle on the crack. Right click and create an all. Drop in the first smoke video. We don't want to show the hard edge at the bottom of the smoke so we will create a mask. Exclude the boundary of the video. Go to mask settings and increase the mask feather to soften the edge. Move its anchor point to the bottom where the smoke came out. Check on 3D layer and change its blending mode to screen. Copy the track points position and paste to the smoke. We will follow the same procedure to add the other smoke effects. For the tracking point that sits on the crack, you can select it directly and right click to create a null object. It for the seventh smoke video. The smoke goes horizontally, so we won't place the anchor point on the right border. Let's create a null object around the center of the hole, and we'll use it for the seventh smoke video. You can use the same procedure to add sparks on top of the smoke to make it more interesting. You may temporarily change the mask type to none. Remember to change the mask type back to add and increase the mask feather. You can also add a glow effect to the spark.
Now, we can add the predator monster in the video. For the energy field effect, we will use the lightning effect when the monster is jumping out of the hole, and we will use the ring effect for the landing. Create a composition for the energy field, and cut it where the ring effect ended. Create another composition for the energy field, and cut it where the lightning effect start. Key out the green background. Drop in the lightning effect, place the anchor point at the root of the lightning. Rotate it to make it straight up. Check on 3D layer, copy the position from the track null, and paste it to the lightning. Change its blending mode to screen, and apply a glow effect. Play with the setting to get the best result. Let's pick up a point for the monster to land. This time we will create a solid plane since we will put the ring effect on the ground. Drop in the ring effect, check on 3D layer, copy the position and orientation from the solid plane, and paste to the ring. Change its blending mode to screen, and apply a glow effect. Let's drop in the monster video. Place the anchor point to the feet. Key out the green background. Check on 3D layer, and paste the tracking point's position to it. Scale it up. Find the frame where the character land on ground, and create a key frame. Go back for a few frames and move the character up a long y-axis, and move him out of the frame. The preview has been slowed down since we've created many 3D layers in the scene. We can pin the character and background layer to speed up the preview. Only the pinned layers would show up, and the rest will be hidden. Duplicate the monster layer, change its blending mode to screen, and apply a glow effect. Increase the values to make it really stand out. Hit the T key for transparency, and add two keyframes on the opacity channel. Set the value of the second keyframe to zero, so this layer with glow effect will fade out. Now, we can move on to color correction. Create a new adjustment layer, add a tint effect. Map white color to light blue, and map black color to dark blue. Then, add a curve effect and increase the contrast of the video. Lower down the tint opacity. Create a new solid layer, fill with dark blue color. Change its blending mode to multiply, and decrease its opacity. Create a mask on the color plate. Increase mask feather, and change mask type to subtract. Uncheck the pinned layers, and show all layers in the scene. Double check the final result. If everything look good, go to File, Export, Add to Media Encoder for rending. Check video format as H264, high bitrate, and set the export location. Click on render. Once it's done, you'll find the video in the AME folder. That's the whole workflow of adding ground cracking effects. You can use the same method to create the earthquake effects in your film.